Good afternoon and happy Saturday. It's wonderful that it is finally a Saturday. It will be morning at the time that you're watching this for some of you. But yes, the week is finally over and it's time to reflect both on the price of AMC but on some of the latest info that we have. Because it is important to continuously give you guys reminders and of course consolidate on where we are because we do a lot of learning here both on this channel but also in this community and I do want to continue to share it because the more that we share it the more we get it out there it shows that yes we are still holding we continue to hold but also helps to hopefully educate some individuals and also consolidate our learning so far so with that being said we're going to dive in if you enjoy it make sure to smash that like button and subscribe as well but as usual I have to say it I am not a financial advisor diving in we're going to have a look at our first piece now and this is just a quick piece is nothing too big but it has been reposted by law so fun laws of fun who posts this so it's from dennis keller originally on twitter and he's going on to say this so the problem is the sec who are big who we are big fans and supporters of said something which is wildly inaccurate they said that we caught bernie madoff and of course they didn't really do so they let him go away with it for 16 years and that's really where we want to reflect on to start off with when we think about these people, you know, a lot of people do like to think they are our friends. And from a basis where they start, they should be our friends. It is their job to help us to enforce fair market conditions. But of course, money, power, does, can, corrupt. I think that's what we're seeing here. Now, when we think about the regulatory bodies, they may help us. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. But of course, we've seen a lot of changes in the past year, and it's one thing to, to have a rule, it's another thing to enforce it. If we don't see fair enforcement, appropriate enforcement, the rules mean nothing at all. So I'm not pinning too much on the SEC and others to radically change things, you know, unless they absolutely have to. I think they will probably leave it until the last minute, until things go poorly for them, and then it's going to be a case of, well, we have to change it, because otherwise, where does it leave us? So... Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they will do something, but I'm not putting too much faith into them. Anyway, let's quickly reflect on the price, and this is another area where things are, in my opinion, blatantly just wrong. The five-day chart shows us everything that we need to know. We've seen a decline in the past week. Zoom out to the past month and it becomes more clear. Friday being a particular red day, we've seen a decrease on that day of 2.5%. And that's all fine for a normal stock. But when we look at the pattern for AMC, we know now that the people holding it has remained the same. So as I've said before, simple supply demand, it should remain around this price, if not continuously go up, because more people are buying more shares. The price has gone down. I'm bringing that back into the more recent argument. In the past week, we've had a load, a load of good news, from smashing earnings to people buying more and more shares, and obviously that confirmation from Adam Aaron that we own 90 or more percent of the float. And we see the price go down. Now, if you ask me, I think that is just another one of these tactics, and I think it is an absolute tactic of desperation. Because realistically, Amazon, Apple, Google, any other company that has a stock that would have seen earnings like AMC did, the best that they've seen in two years plus, they would have seen their stock price rise significantly. But little old AMC, that's not happened. And there's no reason for that, because people are holding, it's confirmed by the CEO. So now you understand why things just don't make sense anymore. Anyway, the past week has been frustrating because we know what we're onto, we've seen the information, and it's like hedgies are just playing a game with us now. It's like they're saying, this is what we're going to do, we're going to bring it down, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's the way that I see it. And of course, as I've said before, I do have a very interesting, unique position here on YouTube, being able to see what people are saying in the comment section, and it is a whole bare argument. It's a whole thing which they're running with, you know, we're not going to be able to do anything, the hedge funds are controlling this forever. And I just don't think that's true. Again, they can run from their problems. Who knows how long they can run from them for? Probably a while. But guess what? They can't hide from them in the end. And when stuff catches up with them, that's when we win. As I've said before, the one thing that differentiates retail from institutions is going to be stuff like patience and knowledge. Because we know what we're onto, of course, but we do still have emotions. We have bills to pay and that sort of thing. And people... Whilst they want to hold, unfortunately for some it's not been something that they've been able to do all the way through. Some have had to sell. Some have bought more, but of course we do still have our emotions. Computers don't have emotions. And that's one of the things which they have against us. And of course we have limited uh, financial resources. Of course they do to an extent, but they can control things a lot 
easier than we can. Their, their money is for their business, our money is for our lives. But as I've said before, it doesn't bother me. I've added to my shares in the past year. I'm going to continue to do so, more than happy to do so in the future. But I just think that where we are now, the price of, what, 16, uh, roughly, it's not a bad point. It definitely is, for me at least, a great point to potentially load up going forwards. Um, and I'm not too bothered, especially when we look at the wider market being red as well. So the markets aren't doing too well. Again, even looking at AMC, with all the manipulation, it's not been brought down too much, especially in contrast to the wider market. I think it is a very, very good sign. Anyway, I want to hear what your thoughts are on this one in the comment section. Do drop me one down below, please. For now, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. But if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to share the message to as many people as possible. As always, this is only just my personal opinion. But again, if you did enjoy it, do try to share it because we are trying to get out there. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll see you again in another video, which we'll make in just a bit. So goodbye for now. Thank you for watching through till the end. But let me tell you about our Discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon